do your 3D prints look like this, then you might be experiencing a nozzle clog. Here are three quick and effective methods that help me resolve this common problem. Please keep in mind not to take off any cables or connections while the printer is still running. Failure to do so might result in the printer getting damaged. Method number one. My go-to and first method for clearing nozzle clogs is performing a cold pull. Keep the nozzle to around the temperature you print at. In my case for PLA, this would be around 220 to 225 degrees and then start extruding the filament. You might have to carefully push down on the filament to make sure the gear is guided right into the nozzle. When you see the filament coming out of the nozzle, take that bit off and lower the temperature of the hot end to around 100 degrees. If you don't see any filament coming out or hear the extruder gears clicking, do so as well. When the nozzle has cooled down, start retracting the filament. To make sure that there is no debris left in the gears, you might have to pull carefully while doing so. Afterwards, cut the filament a bit higher up to make sure you have a clear end of your material. If however your problem is that the filament is cut or broken within the head of the printer, you can try the following method. Remove the nozzle carefully, heat up a small hex key like this and push it into the top of the hot end. Please be careful not to touch the hex key in the area where you heated it up. Then remove the hex key, hopefully with the broken filament attached to it. If your nozzle is still clogged, you might want to try this last method. Firstly, Heat up your nozzle again to around 250 degrees. Then take a very thin piece of wire and carefully poke it into the hole at the bottom of the nozzle. By doing so, you might be able to loosen up the bit of debris that is stuck within the nozzle. Afterwards, try method number one again to make sure you get the piece of debris out of the nozzle. For me, this worked almost every time. Are there any 3D printing related problems I could help you with? Feel free to leave your comment here and I'll see what I can do.